Desi, you're kind of a veteran, hadn't been playing a whole lot the last few games. How tough was that, and, and how good was it to come out and have a game like you did tonight? Um, I feel great to, to see my shot falling. But at the end of the day, when you're in a slump and you stay in the gym, no matter if you're playing or not, the work always going to come back and, and pays off, and it pays off tonight. No matter what I'm going through, I'm always going to stay in the gym, stay consistent with my work because I believe in hard work. Curtis. Desi, you've you've been around this program for a while, and to have the success that you guys are having at this point, and and to be where you are heading into postseason play, I mean, what does that mean to you on a personal level? I mean, it means a lot because I've never been ranked, um, being at Arkansas, so being the top twelve team in the country, it means a lot. Seeing how everybody coming together, everybody playing with each other, we moving the ball, we all got chemistry, we just growing each and every game. Scotty. Desi, y'all are playing really, really connected and really well on the, the defensive end the last couple of weeks. What's What's been the key to that, in your opinion? Uh, one thing, Coach always got the signs around the, like, the locker room and stuff like that, said rebound and stuff like that. So when he got that going and everybody buying in with what he's talking about, I just feel like that's, that's the reason why we're winning right now. And then Justin Smith, like he's – He's playing at you know an all SEC level right now. What what stands out to you about his game lately? Uh, one thing is the athleticism, the way he you get up and d- try to dunk on any everybody, you know. And like you said, he he a guy that like got all purpose. He can do anything and everything for us, and we need him on the floor at all times. Pete. Desi, what does it mean? Uh, when people are comparing you guys to some of the best teams in in Arkansas history, even the 94 national champs, um, you match their 10 game SEC win streak tonight. Do, do you guys feel like you can make that kind of mark on this program too? Um, to be honest, the way we plan right now, um, I feel like we can do anything we want, you know, as long as we keep on playing the way we plan and keep moving the ball and keep, having chemistry and keep like doing what we're supposed to do on and off the court. Bob. Um, hey, Desi, how you doing? Nice game. Um, what do you think of, what have you thought of JD Notes play the last couple games, you know, especially on defense? I mean, I feel like me and JD, similar players, you know, you don't know what you're going to get. You feel me? At the end of the day, JD going to do what JD do. He, he, if he got the hot hand, he going to do his thing no matter what. But like you said, on the deepest end, he just buying in. He just doing what everything he supposed to do, the little things, you know. He, he jabbing at the ball. He rebounding, you know. And he trying to keep doing what he supposed to do. So coach emphasizes each and every day in practice, and he just buying into it. I, I got to believe when you came back, your shoulder was bothering you for a while. Maybe it still is. How, how is your shoulder, and was there a stretch there where it was bothering you, even though I'm, you were playing? I mean, it's, it was it was hurting, you know, but I'm a type of guy, I play with toughness, and I, I'm not going to just give up on my team, you know, whether I'm playing or not. You know, if I got a shoulder injury, I'm still going to try to step out there and try to try to produce or do what I want to do, you know. But at the end of the day, I had a shoulder injury. It happens. Everybody ha- um, get hurt, but I can't do nothing about it. No, that's the past. I'm worried about the future. Is the shoulder 100% now? Does it feel good? I mean, it's it's okay. Okay. And then you guys had 15 of 33 threes. I think that's right. Um, and you had a big part of that. Obviously, you had five yourself. And I think that was a personal best for you or a career best. Well, what do you think about hitting all those threes yourself? And then, you know, obviously the team knocked down a lot of threes too. I mean, it feel good seeing it go in, you know, shoot and shoot. And I'm going to keep on shooting. If I keep on playing with confidence like I did tonight, I- I'll be just fine. And- like my teammates, they, they was knocking down shots because we was all moving the ball. We was all penetrating and we just playing with excitement. I just got one more. Obviously, Moses, you know, has been scoring a lot because he's so good at getting to the free throw line. But tonight he hit, you know, 10 shots and that, that's the most he's hit in quite a while. He kind of struggled from the field the last three. Well, what would you think of Moses' game and him heating up again from the field? I mean, Moses Moody, he, he a guy can do, do it all. He can score at all three levels and we need that. And he, if he keep doing that, we're going to be just fine down the stretch. And I just say he won a hell of a player. Thanks, Desi. Trey Shop. Hey, Desi, what, what have you worked on during your struggles that gave you confidence to come in and play the way you did tonight? 
Um, I do a um a workout with my trainer. So um after practice and before practice at eight o'clock and after practice. So I work on a lot of lot of one on ones, a lot of pull ups, a lot of like catch and shoot threes. It's just trying to get my confidence back. That's the the main the main part. So I'm gonna be back in the gym tomorrow at eight o'clock. So if I just keep on doing that, it's gonna keep on paying off.